G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, new gun day, again. And uh, been doing a right bit this, uh, this year, but uh, I think this will be the last one for a while. Uh, Minister for War and Finance has put the brakes on a bit, so um, apparently I've been living like a king. So, but uh, we'll uh, play the cards we dealt. We'll look at this one first. Another Hower, no great secret. People follow the channel, I love me Hower, it's got heaps of them. Um, why do I like them? Because the value of the money you get from these things out of the box, the accuracy you get out of the box for comparatively comparatively little you have to do to them to get that get that accuracy, it's far outweighs anything, particularly at this price point. These rifles shoot as well as or better than um, rifles two or three times the price, and uh, you can get aftermarket stuff for them. It's all easy to get, easy stuff to get, and they're dead easy to work on. So. You know, it's a no-brainer. They're, they're a hunting rifle, and and that, that, that's what I use them for. So anyway, let's move on. This one, yet another Howe 1500. It's uh, this one's chambered 300 Winchester Magnum, big kicker. Um, this one's fitted with the uh, Varmint heavy barrel, matte blue finish. With a matte blue finish, it's got a one in ten twist, and uh, it's got a threaded muzzle. It's threaded, that uh, thread is a 5 by 24 thread, and that will, that's where we'll uh, hang the muzzle brake on. Okay, and it comes with its uh, supplied uh, cap, uh, thread protector cap. Okay, the uh, receiver, it's a long action in the uh, same bag as the 270s, 30 etc. etc. any of those big calibers, they're a long action, uh, long action uh, rifle, and uh, the, your, your receiver, is drilled and tapped for scope mounts, pick rails, etc., etc., etc. Comes standard with the uh, Hauer three-stage safety. That's clear. Okay, fully safe. Can't move the bolt. Can't do the trigger. That's stage one. Stage two. Can do the bolt. Can't do the trigger. Stage three. Do the bolt. Do everything. Bang! She fires. Okay. It comes standard with the Hauer HACT uh, trigger. This one also comes in the, uh, come, this one comes with the uh, synthetic hoge stock. A lot of people shit can these stocks. I don't mind them. I really don't mind them. I'll explain that later. Um, it comes with a uh, three, shot floor, three shot floor plate magazine that's activated by your little switch on front of the trigger guard there. Down she drops. Right, and that's got a three shot capacity. Your bigger, your bigger rounds, and these things are a monstrous big round. Uh, they take up enough room, so all you get is three. Three is plenty. I'm happy enough with that. You can, as I said, with Howard, you can buy your aftermarket Lucky 13 magazines or whatever the hell they call them, and uh, you can get five, ten, it's up to you. So, um, length, overall length of the rifle, point to point, is 1140 millimetres, 1.14 metres, or just under three foot nine inches. Okay? And the weight of the rifle, as it is, is I call this dry weight. This is no ammo in it, no scope, no rails, no nothing, as you come out of the box. Uh, 4,014 grams, which is 4.014 kilos, or 8 pound 13.6 ounces. So she's not a small gun, by any stretch of the imagination. So we'll, uh, we'll have a bit of a, uh, a closer look at her, and uh, we'll give her a run by and see what we're gonna do, and we'll also show you a few upgrades we're gonna do to this piece. Okay, so stick around. All right, we'll give you a quick run by of the rifle first, so we'll start and give you a length to length look. We start at the back, and along we go. There she be, there she be. Yep, plain Jane for now. Plain Jane old, old thing for now, but we'll, uh, we'll pretty this girl up a bit. So we'll start, we'll go for a quick run by at the back, at the back end. Nice soft recoil pad. That will, uh, that will take a lot of the recoil out of these, uh, these big kickers. And these three out of wind mags are quite an unfriendly rifle to shoot at times. We'll go along the sporter profile, cheap plastic stock. Come to the pistol grip. Now, if we have a look at this pistol grip here, um, have a look just here. On, on timber, it's called knurling or checkering. This is, oh, it's almost like, like little, little pimples on there, like, almost like lizard skin. Um, that's the texture of it. That actually gives you a, a really nice grip on the rifle, particularly in these Queensland summers where... Uh, well, there's a lot of humidity and moisture in the air and your hands are wet and you know you want to drop things and and with those timber stocks um that's that's quite a big possibility because they're so smooth and everything and another thing with the timber stocks uh timber is 
will be affected by heat conditions, it'll be affected by humidity, etc., etc., temperature, and it'll warp timber, and timber absorbs moisture, and it warps, and it bends, and it does all sorts of things. Um, plastic, synthetic, whatever you want to call it, absolutely impervious to that, and this plastic stuff here, you can get, you know, back, what do you call it, solvent all over it, and you won't hurt it. I mean, and a, and a scratch on these is a scratch on a bit of plastic, a scratch on a dress walnut, $1,000 stock, you, you almost want to do something to yourself. So we go along the, uh, we come to the receiver. Again, long action, drilled and tapped for your scope mounts. We look in there, we've got our three shot uh, floor plate magazine. Sits all in there nicely. Nice uh, standard Hauer, standard Hauer two lug bolt. Big, big, nice big hunk of bolt. Again, these things are really easy to work on, easy to pull apart. And uh, we go along and we have that, that checkering checkering lizard skin sort of feel on, on the fore end there and that's for your, for your forward hand for me obviously it's be left hand being a right hand shooter and uh, it comes fitted with uh, comes fitted with uh, sling swivel studs one at the back uh, one at the uh, one at the front of the fore end there fitting sling swivel bipods etc etc and one thing I do like about these Howard stocks they've got a nice flat base on them like you get these stocks with a real round base on a roll in your hand these things will sit in you, they, you can really get a good grip on them. Uh, they sit nicely in your hand and, pardon me, they, and on a, on a rest or a rail, they'll, they'll sit flat like the round ones will roll and carry on. And, uh, but these ones, they're good like that. And we move up the, uh, the 24 inch heavy, big fat barrel, big hunk of steel, that threaded, uh, threaded, uh, end, threaded muzzle there, comes supplied with a, uh, a protector cap there, that's the 5 8 by 24 thread, and that's where we'll uh, put our muzzle brake, we'll give you a look at that later on. Now these stocks, I, I forgot to mention too, these Howard stocks are pillar bedded, they're all factory pillar bedded, these, this stock has got two really substantial aluminium pillars around the action screws, one there, one there, and th that, that in, com in combination, in conjunction rather with the, uh, with the floated barrel, gives these rifles their inherent out of the box accuracy. They've got a, a poor money doing it with $10 now. And this barrel is floated right up to the receiver. That is, that is touching absolutely nothing. So that's fine, that's fine. And they'll stay like that. This thing's torqued down. Uh, the, the action screws are all torqued down to spec. It's all had a good clean. So uh, next thing is a few, um, few little upgrades. I'll give you a look at them. Righto, upgrades for the uh, How 1500 uh, in the 300 wind mag. First thing it's going to get is a Night Force, um, Night Force Zero MOA Picatinny rail. Pick that up from the barn in Oakey. He'll get that. He'll get a set of uh, Vortex uh, Pro Series scope rings. Uh, they're a medium height for a one inch tube. And I've got plenty of these, no issues with them at all. They go real good. Um, in the rings will stick the Vortex Copperhead, uh, four to twelve by forty-four first focal plane, uh, first focal plane scope. He's a um, really good, honest hunting scope. I've got a number of these there. They're fine, no issues there whatsoever. And to try and tame this wild recoiling beast, we're going to fit an MDT Elite muzzle brake, and uh, that uh, that should be a ton of fun. A little learning curve. Never, I've never mucked around really much with brakes before, and, and but I do know with, me, but with very limited experience with these B things, you do need them. That's the brake. We'll uh, we'll put him on, and um, we'll see if we can uh, tone him down. Right now, I have already done one uh, one upgrade. Uh, when I get these rifles, I always like to pull them apart, strip them down, give them a good clean, and uh, check everything out, and get torque all the action screws down to spec and give everything a good clean out and just inspect everything that's okay and always happy with it. What I did with this one, I got rid of the standard Hauer uh, two-stage HACT trigger and I replaced it with a Timney. I've got a Timney trigger in that and I've uh, set that to two and a half pound, which is a really, it's a really good hunting weight to me. I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, it gives you, it's a nice light trigger, yet it still gives you enough control um, if in your shot you've got to pull out for any reason uh, a cow pokes its head up or the, 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 shot's, the shot becomes no good or whatever. Uh, you can pull out and, and the, the thing won't go off. Um, won't, so it shouldn't surprise you. 
I shouldn't describe it's the best way of putting it. I still like to have a bit of enough control to know where, where I am, if, if that makes any sense. Um, I didn't video the uh, trigger swap. I will, uh, I did a trigger, I did a Timney trigger swap with my uh, Weatherby Vanguard in 204. I'll put a link to that video in the description. You can go to that to have a look and see how these, uh, how the Timney trigger swap's done. Honestly, it's one screw, trigger off, one screw old trigger off, one screw new trigger on. Honestly, it takes it takes longer to get the stock off than it does to the trigger swap. That, that's it, simple as that. And I'll show you how to set the triggers and all that. All very, very easy stuff. And when you buy the triggers, you get a good instruction manual. So there we go. So I'm gonna start putting this, uh, putting this beast together and uh, I'll check it when it's all done. And she uh, looks like a, looks like a uh, rifle ready to go. Rightio, our 1500, 300 wind mag. Done and dusted, let's put him to bed. Got him together with no issues. Um, pick rails on, scope rails, scope and rails on, and our MDT muzzle brake is on, and it's more or less to stay on the rifle, I should imagine. Um, no, uh, no big issues with putting it together. Everything's torqued down to spec, um, and I expect, I expect no issues from this. Uh, this thing has a, usually a good shooter out of the box. They rarely give you any troubles, rarely give you any feeding issues, and they're usually a reasonably accurate rifle straight out of the box. Bit a little bit of load development, which is to come. I haven't shot this thing yet, and uh, with different commitments around this time of year, I don't know when I'm going to uh, be able to get to do that. So I'll uh, I'll leave this one there. Um, in short, like it. Look forward to, look forward to uh, shooting it, and I say another good thing out of the house stable. So uh, when uh, when we can get to a range and shoot the thing, that's where our next bit on this one will be. So. Uh, Let's put it to bed. All right. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a like, hit the thumbs up button, that'd be nice. Uh, subscribe to my channel, that'd be really cool. Um, bang that notification bell like it owes your money. And that's it. It's a, it's a good thing to do and you won't regret it. So uh, until next time, you can tell your wife, you can tell your girlfriend. You can tell them both. Doesn't matter to me. Just go two clicks up. Ta-da.